Hello there. Here's your Monday video for the payoff from Wednesday's GeoGuessr. I had another game in mind, but then I saw this pop up on my Steam. It seemed interesting for a couple of reasons. But anyway, I saw a few, um, I get the trailer for it, I guess you can call it, decided to give it a shot. Uh, I did a bunch of different audio levels to see if this is any loud. I think I got it nailed. Either way, let's uh, go into this sight unseen. New game. How am I feeling today? Um, it's a roguelite they're calling it. Uh, you're a min-maxing st statistical tyrannosaur. I am not that. I, that, that, I like the little thing there. Teach me. I will do teach me to play to start with. Oh, God, that's loud. I'm, I'm, there we go. I had to turn it a little bit down here. Game options. Full motion video. Definitely. I loved Command and Conquer as a kid. And I'm keeping those on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Gentle start advisor help. I'll leave all this stuff. Murder hornets. No wasp or hornets. This is a weird thing. <laughs> oh, I understand now. It's for people who are certainly, who are fearful of certain things. They change them into other stuff. Game difficulty. I'm leaving everything as is. Hitting next. Sure name. You know what we'll do? I guess I can't change it. We're Dejani. I have no say. So the trailer seemed interesting. I saw a full motion video. I got excited. I'm giving this a shot. So let's see how this goes. Will this be multiple videos? Will I die super fast? I mean, there is a tutorial here. We're going to be handheld for a while. Let's watch the intro. Do I have to click? I guess I do. Someone poisoned my tea. I don't know. If I was a janitor, I'd be mad at you, too. Probably take nasty dumps. He's got to clean them all the time. So it seems fully aware of itself. In Basenji today, oh, shit. there is a mood of jubilation as thousands crowd the streets in celebration. I love this. The first ever democratic election in the People's Republic of Basenji is a success. Five years ago, the monarchy was replaced by a transitional government. And now, finally, after great struggle, democracy has come to Basenji. For the first time in their turbulent history, both Basenji and ethnic Karifi are voting for a government of their choice. Twelve political parties campaigned, representing a wide political spectrum, with the largest, the Basenji Nationalist Party, sweeping the election with 72% of the vote. Good morning, Your Excellency. My name is Sabria. I have been assigned as your political strategist. And I am Yusuf. I will be serving as your military attaché. The first task before you is to appoint cabinet roles for representatives from across our great nation. These are critical positions. Once appointed, cabinet members are constitutionally protected. They cannot be removed from office. Indeed. You will be stuck with these ministers, for better or worse. I would advise you listen to their needs. And I say look for loyalty. There will be hard days ahead. We will need a cabinet that is on our side, no matter what. Excellency, it's time for us to form the government responsible for building Basenji's glorious future. All right, I had to uh, mute my mic because I realized that I was picking up the sound from my TV. I'm putting my headphones on now, so give me a moment. I'm going to mute again. Sorry. I Now I'm panicking. i got to find out where my headphones are. No, not that. It's not picking up there. Not the Samsung. No, cancel. Uh, man, I bungled this. I, I should have another option here. Let me see. I haven't touched my OBS in a while here. Uh, advanced audio properties. No properties. 
it's not the T. It's not my monitor. I don't know. B2. Let's try this. Is it going to pick it up? No. Man, I am so well planned. Not that. Let's try this. Hey, there we go. Sorry. Professional. I am such a professional. Anyway, let's appoint our cabinet. I'm very happy with those intros. All right. Potential ministers. Not all ministers are appropriate for all ministries. Who are you? Oh, we've got many options here. Let me see. He's quite frugal. He's good with finance. I think I might do that. Although he's cunning. I don't know if I like that. Let's see about you. You're pious. One percent every third turn. Man, okay. I don't know what that means. This dude can die. He's very inspiring. Do I want someone who can die at any time as my defense minister? This guy is resourceful, but he's an idiot. <laughs> I I don't think I'm going to touch this dude. Let's try this guy. He's popular, but selfish. I don't know if I like a guy who's going to get mad. You're an addict. Oh, well, maybe I won't touch you. You're a conservative religious guy. So, regardless of what position you decide to put him in... So, so there's ethnicities to apparently worry about, or maybe not worry about, think about. It's a time of unity, not division. I like that. Although he's a maverick. But upgrades from his department only cost favors, never cash. That might be a good thing. All right, so not gonna use you because you're an idiot. <laughs> you could die any time. You piss off everybody else. I don't know if I want somebody who's cunning. I gotta make some You are a maverick. I might put you in just to see what happens. You're an addict. I don't want an addict. Man, oh, this, this is definitely one of those. Well, you got to make decisions. All right, let's see. You might be useful for development. So I think I'm just going to put him in finance to begin with. And then work from there. You're popular, but I might you might say a lot of things that make me ignore. I'm trying to like think ahead what the game might make me do. Uh, if I use him as a defense guy, though, and he dies, I might be able to use that as like some sort of power thing. I don't know. So let's see. I have two positions left. I don't think I want to use you. I'm definitely not. So I've got four for two. Um, that could be a problem with natural resources, so maybe development. I think I'm going to put you in, and if you end up pissing everybody else off, I'll deal with it. You're an addict. You're probably going to get, she's probably going to yell at the addict. I'm not using an idiot. <laughs> uh, Let's see if, how would cunning be bad for the natural resources? Let's see, he's cunning manipulator, be careful what position because he'll change the script if he believes it benefits his, okay, so his ambitions are potentially to usurp me, so maybe I won't use you. Well, it just leaves the attic, so I guess we'll go with that. Very good. Know that every 12 months, you may appoint a new cabinet minister for an unstaffed ministry, should you choose to do so. More ministers mean more opportunities to do great things. And more people to keep happy. Okay, so potentially in 12 months I can get rid of all of these people. We'll see how they do. Excellency, while you get settled in your new office, I have scheduled your agenda for the next few weeks. 
Are you interested in hearing it? Well, yeah, because this is a screen of I don't know what. Most actions, aside from giving orders to units, cost a single action point. The number of action points available is equal to the number of ministers in our cabinet. Okay. Think of this as political capital to get things done. So if that one guy dies, I'll lose four and go down to three. I've learned that our national power plant has not received a fuel shipment in weeks. Yeah, that's bad. The connecting roads were made unusable during the Civil War. Oh, that's bad. By constructing a new road, oil will automatically be transported from the refinery to the power plant, and electricity can be restored to Basenji. Build roads by click dragging a line between two buildings. Ensure both the power plant and the oil refinery are connected to the same road network. One thing anybody would ever say is if you want to keep people happy and never get mad at you, keep the power on. I gotta right click. No, I want to. Nope, this is bad. Can I WASD? I can. So we're gonna right click. Um, build roads. I'm dragging a line between two buildings. Um, I'm, am I not allowed to do it yet? Oh, I have to wait. Okay, I understand. So what do I gotta do? Let's see, click. So. Build road. What if I build Building road? Roads okay. One action point per month and oh, treasury okay. funds. Note that it is possible to both upgrade and build those roads. Click on any road segment, including the one you just built, and select upgrade the road menu. Okay, that was Manipulating the camera should work. be straightforward. In addition to moving the cursor, you can use the WASD keys to pan the map or click and hold the middle mouse button. The mouse wheel is used to zoom in and out. Zooming out of the map will help you see the big picture of Basenji. So we're a giant square of a country. I understand. All right, so... You can also rotate the map by clicking the rotation buttons or by pressing Q or E. Gotcha. Well, if I do it quick. Ah, that's, that's cool. All right. Finally. These buttons will immediately pan the camera to buildings oh. of specific importance. Resource producers, power plants, and buildings that allow units to be recruited. That's what Okay. All right, fine. After the Civil War, the United Nations established aid camps to distribute food rations to our people. How nice of them. We must start to produce our own food and not rely on the UN. That's important. Constructing agricultural fields allows us to produce our own food for our people and have a new source of revenue to grow our treasury. That's important. <laughs> Agricultural fields can only be placed on green terrain. From the right sidebar, click Construction. From okay. there, choose the agricultural field. We will need to ensure that there is a working population available wherever we place them. So there's not much in the way of green here, but we're gonna understand. Construct. This is a big screen. Constructing grasslands, let's see. Can I see? Is it, does this population change? Okay, it does change. Karif. If I put it here, it's gonna be a lot of roads. You know what? We'll just do it right here. Construct it. I should remind you, Excellency, that we'll need a road connection between these yep. fields and our cities. We can build a dirt road connecting them to our traffic network for now. I understand. Build a road. Over time, Basenji cities will demand more than just food to stay content. Okay. Urban citizens who purchase these goods from our state-run producers put money back into our treasury. That's helpful. As food supply increases, you can dismantle a UN camp. I would suggest doing this only once every few months because okay. removing UN aid workers will come with a severe penalty to our diplomatic influence. Severe, you say? And I spazzed out and gave me way more roast than I needed. For now, I think we can weather it. Click on a UN camp and dismantle it now. That's pretty bold of you um, dismantle uh, do it twice bye bye United we Nations we could spend funds and an action point to build a second agricultural field mm -hmm. to support the anticipated growth in our city's demands next month or alternatively we could address the health crisis currently facing the province of Sabah 
Constructing a regional hospital adjacent to a city somewhere in this province would provide immediate care for those wounded during the Basenji Civil War. That's, that's important. The choice is yours. Future-proof your economy and construct another agricultural field, or build a regional hospital adjacent to a city somewhere in the province of Saba to care for our wounded. I think, I think the wounded is, is, is important. So we're gonna build that hospital. Right here. What is what are these intelligence? Well done, Excellency. Thank you for putting your faith in me. You may have noticed that buildings consume both workers and power. Getting more power is a question of building more power plants. Getting more workers, however, is a much bigger problem. Okay. For but now, it is prudent to spread your buildings out between your provinces so you don't end up with a worker shortage. Okay. Excellency, Sabria. Apologies for the interruption. Our military is in a state of disrepair, and I must insist we address that sooner rather than later. Construct a military base, Excellency. This will be where all our military units are produced. I understand. Build a military base, huh? Um, I feel like it should be central. Or at least maybe more closer to actual our strategic resources so maybe put it near the oil so we don't really have much in the way of roads connecting everything it just seems to be one long one nothing connecting here we're gonna have to work on a road infrastructure but for now I'm gonna put it over here next month. We've done all we can. Turn done. Good morning, Excellency. Hi. Yusef, the local news is reporting something difficult to believe. Uh-oh. An industrious shepherd appears to have hybridized a bunch of old cars to produce an armored bipedal tank? Ex excuse me? Um... What? There's mechs in this? I may have made a big mistake. <laughs> what? Why would anyone do that? <laughs> uh, because it's awesome? That's, that's true. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I am stuck inside this armored bipedal tank and have lost system control. This is amazing. This game is already best game. Although, this is probably also a threat to our national security. Thankfully, we can use that military base to recruit some new troops and send them to disable it. That is one way. Why don't we just use it? We will need to train a military unit. All units have a role to play in combat, and it is for you to decide which unit to train. I would, however, suggest that you not train the SAM truck. It cannot attack ground-based units, including whatever that thing is. Fair enough. Alright, click on you. What do we got? Anti-air vehicles. Vulnerable to airborne units. You are... Let's see. I guess we'll do a tank. Order our troops to disable the civilian bipedal tank by first clicking on the unit, then click dragging a line to the target. Click dragging. That's an interesting way of doing it. It's right on the road. Outstanding. We have pulled the very frightened shepherd from the wreckage. Hopefully his insurance covers all the damage he caused. Thank you. I spent so much of my time thinking about how to create a giant homemade walking tank out of old cars and recovered munitions I never stop to think if I should. <laughs> right. Well, Excellency, this seems as good a time as any to introduce your ministries. This is where you set all the policies specific to our nation. Click on the Ministry of Finance for now. Okay. Setting our tax policy to regressive will increase our tax base if our people's prosperity is low. Our nation's liberals will absolutely hate this move. 
but maybe we can win back their trust in other ways. Set our tax policy to regressive now. I guess I'll do that. Proceed. Good. Let's check in now with the Ministry of Defense. There's Over time, a, a minister will research new policies for our nation. If you keep them happy by fulfilling the requests they routinely bring to us, that research gets completed faster. Okay. The minister is of the view that we might be able to learn something from this uh, bizarre incident with the armored walking vehicle. That's almost what it said. Hey, look, it's the uh, catapult. You can choose which policy opportunities a minister is going to research by clicking on it. Choose a policy opportunity for the Minister of Defense to research now. You can even choose that silly bipedal walking tank if it means that much to you, but we'll probably need a lot of cash in a secret facility if you plan on going down that road. Uh, hmm. These are some very weird, weird things. Ah, <sighs> I mean, they dumped a tank on me. Or just a mech. Human factor intels. Oh, that'll make some people mad with us. Oh, there's no plus or minuses with those. Although we're losing a lot of money if I do it that way. Nukes. Rule of law would make me mad. I don't have much in the way of options here, huh? Recon. Hmm. I mean, there's giant walking tanks. I almost feel like this wouldn't make any sense. We're going to do it. We're going to... Ministers who are not given research priorities will create their own based on their personal interests. In fact, particularly belligerent ministers may do their own thing, regardless of what you say. Oh, fantastic. We should suggest policy opportunities for the remaining three ministers to research now. It suddenly got very loud. All right, we'll do development. Let's see. I understand. Let's see. Transportation roads are important right now. So, toll roads would make a lot of people mad. We lose a little money on a bus fleet. Prioritize cars. Rural approval, huh? Hmm. Spaceport would be dumb. Speed limits would make people happy, apparently. Uh, make a lot of people mad if I do that. Tunnels we don't need just yet. Hmm. I think this is actually more useful. It's only minus one a turn. We'll do that. Proceed. And can I do these? I don't know. I can't do that just yet. Um, open internet, public safety down. Regulated internet. Do I do like... Proceed. So I have multiple options it looks like here. I have favors to spend, huh? Okay, that's fine. Natural resources, all right. Consume power, that's fine. Ration, make people mad. Solar power. I mean, we're in a desert. I feel like that that's useful. Uh, solar power. Proceed. You drug addict. I make sure I get my plans in the way to start with. Prosperity would be useful for now. So I think what we're going to do now is... All polluting buildings add three to their operating costs. Upgrading them requires no favors. I don't know if I can... Can I do this one? I can. And what if I do this? All right, so I only have an option. We're gonna stick with solar power then. Did I change your... I did not, all right. National defense, no. Psychological warfare would be. Force relocation? Nah, that seems bad. 
think we'll stick with this for now. No, we're going to change this. Um, tax credits. Super notes. <laughs> That's bad. Maybe I'll do state investments. No, unions could be useful. Workers' comp. I mean, health is important right now. We, we, we've got to... Elder workers program. No. No. How's the health and everything? The health seems okay. Uh... Permits financial investment in the provincial businesses subsidies. Let's try tax credits. Great. Research will be conducted faster when the minister has a great deal of respect for you. Unhappy ministers may not do any research at all. Well, nuts to them. Excellency, our economy is pretty stagnant right now, which will limit our opportunities to better this great nation. I have a plan, however, that will give us a little extra boost. Let's review our national budget. I don't know if I like the sounds of that. Very good. I've got some more ideas on how we can oh, increase Jesus. our national treasury. These are a lot of numbers and bars. A lot of things outside of our control can affect Basenji's monthly revenue. City growth, immigration, the price of commodities, our transportation infrastructure. So what you're looking at is our minister's best estimates based on a snapshot of the country as it stands today. Okay. Lowering provincial expenses helps a little, but it will also take its toll on the general well-being of those provinces. All right. But look at these ministry expenses. You may want to change some policies in the Ministry of Development later on. Ministry of Development is... Ongoing unit maintenance costs are something money. to keep a close eye on as well. It's better to use a few units well than grow a bloated military. That's fine. Because we have a Minister of Finance, we also have the option of taking out loans in the forms of bonds or an IBRD loan. The interest repayment terms for these are not kind, so I wouldn't suggest doing this unless we were in a real emergency. Okay, I won't do that. Inevitably, the best way for us to have nice things is to find resources and sell. Later, we can use those resources to craft more valuable goods and sell them instead. Okay. We may need to consider a few temporary provincial funding cuts until we get our economy jump-started. I'll leave it to you to decide where, but ultimately, I propose you cut just enough to establish a positive cash flow. All right, positive cash flow. Got it. Ministry of Development. What if I lower... We'll do tourism because it's not important right now. We're going to confirm the changes because we're worried about building the, 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 the country itself and not so much making people want to come here. So we're going to confirm changes. Excellency, we have used up all our actions for this month. Let us reconvene next month. I feel that's sensible. Click on the Palace of Mijimura by either finding it on the map or clicking on the Palace Fast Access button at the bottom of the screen. From there, train a surveyor. Oh, I can't do that yet. Good morning, Excellency. You think it make me do it again? Click on the yep. Palace of Mijimura by either finding it on the map. I understand. All right, so here, resource. Click on the surveyor you've just trained to reveal all the potential resources in this energy. By exploring these sites, we can potentially uncover new resources for our economy. There is a possible resource deposit located in a tile not too far from this current location. Okay. Drag him to the nearest tile with the potential resource deposit. Note the black pin. And click survey adjacent tiles from the surveyor interface. Note the black pin, you say. I understand. Let's scroll out. I'm not seeing a black ping anywhere. Nearby, you say. Let's do some rotating. I don't see it. Do I have to click on him? Excellency. Oh, I do. Excellency. Very Go here. Well. Um. Excellency. Can you not? Do it yet? Excellency. I guess I can't do that yet. 
Excellency. I want you to... Excellency? Yes. Very well. I guess... Okay. That was Excellency? a little clunky. Another oil deposit? Well, this is helpful. Not all resource deposits pan out, so sending surveyors across Basenji to check them all will be necessary. Okay. Let's build a new refinery on that oil deposit. Select one from the construction menu. Okay. I understand. Oil refinery. Excellency. Just get built on. You're fine, surveyor. Excellency, we have used up all our actions for this month. Let us reconvene next month. I understand. Build power for Good it. Good morning, yes. Excellency. Good month. Now our nation has two oil refineries. One is sending oil to our power plant. Perhaps we can sell the oil from this one to one of our neighbors. At least while we don't have a demand for plastics yet in Basenji. Click on the diplomacy menu. All right. Relations with those other nations we share report. Chicken state. Tricky. If we can maintain a strong, positive relationship, we can mutually prosper from expanding trade. If they grow to hate us too much, we may find ourselves invaded. Okay. Our relationship will depend greatly on their interests, which are not immediately known to us. Spending intelligence and research is one way to better understand these interests. All right. In addition to their relationship with us, these neighboring states also have their own internal stability to be concerned about. A collapsing neighbor means lots of refugees seeking asylum in our borders, in addition to other challenges to manage. Okay. Take notice as well of the three major powers interested in influencing the future of the region. The United States of America, the Russian Federation, and the People's Republic of China. Mm -hmm. If any one of these powers sees us as a threat to their interests, we may find ourselves in a war we cannot possibly win. On the other hand, if we can eventually improve our relations to the point where an alliance is achieved, the others may leave us alone. Okay. Let's see if any of our neighbors happen to have an interest in Basenji crude oil. Once they're on the phone, select Negotiate Trade and click the Export tab. Then, make an offer to export oil. All right. Axtijan? I didn't understand it right. Yeah, blah, 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 okay. We will negotiate a trade. Export. I should probably build that road soon. Propose. Not bad at all. We'll need to make sure there's a road connection between the oil refinery and the border checkpoint, or else our oil will never reach them and no money will be earned. Okay. We will build that road. Road is built. I want to upgrade the road. Road has been upgraded. Need to do it again. There we go. Big, super big road. Now we have to go build a road. Very good. Make sure your surveyor is on his way to find new resources for us. Over time, resource producing buildings will experience corruption. Greasy hands will start cutting into our national bottom line. You should hire a facilities inspector from the palace at Mijimra to travel between your resource producers and address this. Yeah, that seems important. But first, Excellency. I'll have you go here. Oh, yeah, okay, this... Excellency. This method of having them go places is a little weird anyway. to me. Perfect. The facilities inspector has an action that allows you to eliminate corruption that accrues in resource producing buildings. Okay. Surveyors, facilities inspectors, and clerics can consume an action point to double their movement distance. Keep this in mind if you find yourself with extra action points. Okay. Excellency, Sabria, apologies for the interruption. Again. Intelligence reports that a small contingent of rebels and dissidents calling themselves the Basenji Liberation Front are on the move toward what's left of that armored bipedal vehicle. <laughs> the Basenji Liberation Front? They're a small union of various interest groups with the united goal of destabilizing our democracy and removing you from power. Uh oh. What could they want with a pile of metal junk in the deep desert? They, it's a fucking mech. Regardless, reports indicate they are armed and we must respond with force, Excellency. If the public feels we can't keep them safe, we may end up playing right into the insurgents' agenda. Okay. Our units start fiercely loyal to our regime, Excellency. 
Just be aware that the military is looking for you to make smart decisions. That's me. Smart. Sending units on suicide missions, making poor choices, and making our nation into a laughingstock may result in our soldiers doubting your leadership and side with the enemy. Okay. Every unit can only attack once per month, and we're anticipating at least a couple targets. We may need to field more troops. Eliminate the BLF units before they are able to reach the wreckage. Alright, so I need more people. Infantry. Um, do I want another one? I guess I can't. Can I? I guess I can't click and click and drag multiples. What is this? You're an effective counter, and you? Excellency. Yeah, you're fine. Excellency. Uh, so I have to click and drag to you, and then click to you. Although that too is bad. We'll have you one fight that. Way. We'll eliminate one. We got rid of one. Excellency. On our way. Excellency. And you're gonna fight that one. Yep. Uh, now are they going to attack us? Good morning, Excellency. No, they just got close. Every unit can only attack once per month. And we're anticipating at least a couple targets. We may need to field more troops. Eliminate the BLF units before they are able to reach the wreckage. Okay, these two are going to be able to do it. For passage. Excellency. On our way. Fight him. Great work, Excellency. I did it. It would be prudent to have forces spread throughout the nation bucks. to address whatever threats may come our way. Yeah, that can be a problem. Excellency, as important as our national defense is, I will show you how to stay in power by balancing the differing interests of liberals and conservatives, religious and secular citizens, even urban and rural populations. Okay, yeah, this video's gonna get a little long, but I gotta learn all the points. I mean, maybe you figured out whether or not this game's for you at this point or not, but this seems intriguing enough for me to want to keep doing it. So, you know what, I think I'm gonna actually call it here. Um, there's clearly more to this, it's way more in depth than I thought it was gonna be, but hey, if these, this seems like something you'd actually be interested in, go check it out. It's, uh, Rogue State Revolution. There's a free demo on Steam right now. And I think it was only like 15, 20 bucks. Uh, yeah. If you want me to see me do some more of this, I can pick it right up from here after the tutorial's done and maybe explain a bit more. But either way, thank you all for watching. We'll see you real soon. Take care.